The Mosquito by Cindy Christmas. In a small town with lots of mosquitoes lived one female mosquito that was very unusual. And because she was different, she was disliked by all the other mosquitoes, especially the females. Miami, the most popular female mosquito, who was about to lay her eggs, yelled, It's feeding time! So Miami and her two female friends flew over to the humans to suck their blood. Yuck, that's so gross, said Niagara, disgusted, as she felt like she was about to puke. Niagara was different from the rest of the female mosquitoes because she was the only female mosquito that did not feed on blood or nectar from plants. In fact, she only bit humans to cure them from the disease that they had. June, who was Miami's friend, shouted, Hey, Niagara, aren't you going to come and feast on the human's blood? After all, it's filled with lots of iron and protein. Plus, it's kind of tasty. Niagara gasped. Oh, gosh, no. I'd rather fly into a room with bug spray and die first, but thanks for the offer, Champagne asked curiously. Did you just say you would rather die? Are you sure you're a mosquito and not a dragonfly? Niagara smirked and replied, Wow, if I was a dragonfly, you all would be lunch right now. But unlike you vampires, this mosquito is allergic to blood. Plus, I want to be diseaseless, unlike you all. Miami and her two friends got offended by Niagara's remark. So with an attitude, Miami shouted, Excuse you? You weird little fly, what did you say? Niagara replied, upset. Do you know why we mosquitoes don't live long? It's because the humans hate us. We suck their blood and give them a disease. Well, you guys do, not me. Before Niagara could buzz another word, a hummingbird grabs June and flew away. June screamed, help me! Miami and Champagne were scared and panicking. Okay guys, just calm down. This kind of stuff happens every day, Niagara said, trying to make the other two mosquitoes feel better. Miami was shaking from being in shock. She yelled, you little flying cockroach! How do you expect us to calm down when our friend was just kidnapped and killed by a hummingbird? You know what? Stay away from us or I will set you up to be lunch for a spider. Let's go, Champagne. As Miami and Champagne flew away, Niagara felt really bad, so she cried. A male mosquito named Moscow heard her cries and flew over to see what was the matter. Hello, cutie. Don't you know you are too cute to be crying? Moscow said. Now stop crying. Niagara replied, crying. Everyone hates me. They say I'm weird and I'm crying because it's true. I am the only female mosquito that doesn't feed on blood or nectar from plants. That doesn't make you weird. It makes you rare. But how are you surviving if you are not feeding on blood or nectar? While Moscow and Niagara were chatting, Champagne and Miami were at lunch. Champagne sighed. I think we were harsh to Niagara and we should apologize. Miami rolled her eyes and said with an attitude, you can't be serious, Champagne. Niagara is an imposter. Isn't it obvious that she's a lab mosquito? 
I mean, come on. What kind of female mosquito doesn't feast on blood or nectar? Meanwhile, as the two friends were mumbling, a spider was creeping up on them. The spider spread its web and caught Miami. She screamed loudly as she was about to be the spider's lunch. Champagne flew away to get help. Luckily, Niagara and Moscow heard the cry for help and they both flew to Miami's rescue. Hey, you! Moscow yelled, trying to distract the spider. Come now, spider, I'm more tasty. Meanwhile, as soon as the spider went to attack Moscow, Niagara cut Miami off of the spider's web, setting her free. Thank you, said Miami, smiling. You're welcome. Now let's go help Moscow, said Niagara. The two of them flew over to the spider and threw rocks at it, and then Champagne and some of her other mosquito friends also threw rocks, which made the spider crawl off quickly. Niagara, we are sorry for the harsh things we said, and I hope you forgive us and accept our friendship, said Miami. Niagara smiled and said, hmm. I'm sorry too for calling you guys vampires and saying you all had diseases. So I hope to also be forgiven. Champagne said, smirking, we forgive you. Then Niagara and Moscow flew off to have some privacy. So Niagara, have you ever tasted blood before? Yuck, no. Blood looks nasty, and I won't ever taste it. You know, Niagara, I like you, and I would like you to try the nectar from the plants, because if you don't feed on something, you will die. I can actually survive without blood or nectar because I'm a rare mosquito, Niagara said. In the lab, the scientists injected me with medicines, so unlike other mosquitoes, I carry cures for diseases, and I live off of water. Wow, you're a mosquito that humans would actually like to bite them. That's cool. Niagara looked at Moscow and smiled. Then she flew over to the flower, took a suck, and immediately, Loved the taste. Oh, gosh. Mmm. This is so good. I can't believe I was keeping myself from this delicious meal all along, said Niagara with a huge smile. Wow. I'm glad that you tried it and you like it, said Moscow with a grin. Niagara smiled and said, yeah, I am too. The two friends enjoy the rest of the day, feeding on the nectar from the plants. As the days flew by, all the other mosquitoes fell in love with Niagara because she was special. They called her Miracle Mosquito. Niagara continued to bite and cure the humans who were sick with diseases. She and Moscow were also about to be parents.